Hey everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost and it's organization day, craft room organization. Look at all these drawers. Which one is going to be the lucky drawer today? Take your pick. I know some of you are hoping for the exciting button drawer, but not yet. Nope, not yet. You know what it's going to be today? Today it's going to be, well, let me rearrange this drawer to make it look all nice and neat. Okay, so, so, so far we, we did that. That's good. Uh, do we do that? Yeah, that is organized. Oh, that's sad when you have to ask yourself whether it's organized or not. Yes, that is organized. Okay. And da 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 The scissors drawer. da 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 Okay, here we are on the table. And I figured out why it, my lighting wasn't bright as it usually is. I had an overhead light burned out and it's actually just a regular, um, it's like a dining room light because I'm, I'm actually recording in my dining room. Um, so it's got four light bulbs in it. So I, you know, finally looked up and realized that's what the issue was for me anyway. Um, so anyway, the scissors drawer. Sitters, si sitters, sitters and cutting instruments will be addressed today. I don't know if you have an entire drawer full of this Miss Mush, also known as Mish Mush, um, but I do. And I got to get through this because I got to decide what I'm going to use and what is going to be retired and what is just not usable anymore. Or, you know, I don't go in this drawer a lot. Um, honestly, what I have out is one of my favorite this is El Cheapo favorite. Got it from a thrift store. There's not even a brand name on it. How about that? Um, it just cuts a deckled edge, an irregular torn edge look thing. And I use that a lot and I keep it over with my scissors. I use all the time section over, the, over there hanging from the wall. This is my depot for, you know, hey, maybe one day I want to do this. Yeah, I, I totally forgot I had this. And how about this? Oh yeah. Totally forgot I have this. Actually, I use this every once in a while. And apparently, it has it has a friend. Yes. And uh, so these are um, useful. Uh, they get dull. They can't do really much more than one or two papers. I mean, two papers they're choking on. So it's really one paper at a time if you're lucky. And they take up a lot of space in a craft room. So some hard decisions have to be made. Yes, let's see what we're going to do here today. Also, what I store in here... When I bought my craft knives, uh, which I do have these in my Amazon store if you're looking for them, but they come in bulk and I just wanted a bunch at a time so I don't have to keep reordering because I have learned that whenever I'm struggling with my craft knife, it's because my craft knife is dull and I need to break off a little piece and carry on. And that makes me motor through one of these pretty quickly. And um, so I bought a bunch, I don't know, 15, 50, something like that, but there were a lot in one box, but I use them so that to me was worth purchasing um everybody has their own favorite way to cut right some people are scissors people some are the you know the fiskar uh wire cutter people some people are um guillotine cutter people Whew, that looks scary and intimidating doesn't it that's my guillotine love that thing close it okay so um yeah i tend to be i use a lot this scissor, this scissor, my crafting knife, and the guillotine. Those are my uh, four primaries. And I use these two because they're easy action where you, you just squeeze to cut. You don't pull to cut the way you do with a regular scissor, like pull open and then squash, pull open and then squash. This is just the only power you need is the squeezing of the hand. And to me, that's easier if you have hands that get tired uh, cutting a lot. So it's, these are also squeeze and these are made by Fiskar and I've had good luck with them. I've, um, I really, I really love them. I have two pair they, um, of each um, just in case, uh, you know, something happens and I got to have my scissors. So I have backup. But um, uh, yeah, let's see what else is in here that I totally forgot about. Okay my Fiskar sharpening scissor tool. Yes, that takes up a lot of room and I never really use it. I should probably sharpen my scissors. Maybe I will attempt to sharpen all my scissors before I decide what I'm going to do with that little space occupier. Um, okay, so let's take out all of the craft knives because they're definitely going to stay. Looking for the craft knives. Maybe let's, let's be smart and let's pull out all the rotary cutters, which are just generally for cutting fabric 
and leather, things like that. Like this has something to do with it. I forget. Um, we'll put all that over there because, oh, look at that's out. Well, we want you to be in. How come you're not in? Oh, now you're in. Okay, so it should always be, look at that, like fuzz or something on there. Look at it, like it's from paper. Yeah, paper. Huh. Or maybe it's fabric buildup. But either way, they should always be retracted. I was a bad, bad rotary cutter person. And here's another one. Never even cracked the bag. How about that? Um, here's another one. Okay, you go over there. And these have something to do with the rotary cutter. Not sure what, but I thought I'd better save them just in case. <clears throat> here's a weird something that probably has to do with the rotary cutter. I have no idea what it is, but saved it just in case. Um, here's some rotary blades. Here's like um, a zigzag blade or a waffle blade, something like that. Never, never played with that. Probably should you know, try that at some point. There's some straight ones and a waffly one. Hmm, yeah, I have to remember I have that. <clears throat> Checking. Oh, more rotary blades. Here's the big rotary blades. So apparently there's little rotary blades and big rotary blades. And um, feel free to comment and jump in if you know all about these things and, and uses and purposes and, 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 and tips and tricks. And I'm, I'm expecting like um, to be horn swaggled with I can't believe you store your blades like that, ma'am. Don't you realize the danger or the uh, damage you're doing to you? I can, I, it's coming. I know, I know. Quilters cut. Um, uh, but maybe I'll pick up a tip or two, which I'm always open to tips. So please feel free to share because uh, need tips, need tips in that realm. Okay, more of these. Very good. What are these? Oh, look at extra blades. Huh. For the craft knife. I don't think... You can replace these. I think these are one and dones. I think. I don't know. You know, I've never tried it. Huh. Maybe that goes with this special one, which looks exactly the same as the others. I don't know. I'll probably have to watch a YouTube video. Does anybody know? Is this for the, like, there's probably like a metal one or something that uses, oh, look at this. I have this free and flowing around in here without any protection. My scalpel. Yes, that's very nice. Yeah. Okay. You could, you could lose a finger. Okay. You could lose a, fi I could lose a finger. Okay. Don't do that. That's like... We call that in the realm of sheer stupidity. Don't do that. No, no, no. Okay. More blades. Little blades. Big blades. You name it. We got it. All right. Remember this little guy? The Tim Holtz uh, paper shredder. Let me give you a quick demonstration. You can take... Uh, there's a blade, like a round blade, hiding inside here. Yeah. And then you come along. You do that. And then you get that. Yeah. See, that was just a couple. Want to rough up the edge of your paper? It actually does a pretty good job, you know? Um, say so you didn't want the straight edge. Eh, it's okay. You know, you could sit there for a while and do that until you're bored and then move on. Okay, so we saved that because that might come into uh, purpose at some point. We might like that. And, oh, look what we got here. One of these. Yeah, it's bladeless. So you'll just go over there. Yeah, with those guys. I've got all those weird, oh, look, now here's a well-protected craft knife. This is what it should look like with its cap on. So make sure that you save your cap. We'll have to figure out something, some way to make a cap or do something, or maybe I'll find the extra cap in here because at some point maybe I had, oh, look at, there's a, there's a blade all by itself. Look at that. Well, that doesn't look very smart. No, it doesn't. All right, you just come with me. I'm trying to pick you up without touching you. How can we do this? All right, I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, come with me. Going over there. Go sit over there for now. Lord, this is a really dangerous place. I had no idea how many dangers were living in my scissor drawer. Thank goodness I don't come in here a lot. You know that? Because this puppy needs to be organized. We need to have rotaries in one section, craft knives, and then what be nuts. Okay, so this is a big pinking shear. And for some reason, I thought I needed a backup pinker. So I have a pinker in action. Let me show you what my pinker in action looks like. It always looks like somebody had a snot attack all over my stuff. Um, but um, new, not new, new, not new, but both effective. My backup, back on the hanger. Okay, the everyday user hanger. Until it absolutely passes out, I will not move to that one. Um, uh, probably got these in a grab. No, I bought these. Did I buy these? I don't remember now. I bought two fancy pair of fabric scissors and it's not these. These came in a 
cra- uh, like a grab bag at Goodwill or something. Ginger, Italy. I, they sound like they're good scissors. They probably have to be tuned like a piano or something like that. They still have that nice scissor sound. Yeah, because they haven't been used probably. Okay, we'll put you over there with the specialty scissors, whatever that is. Okay, what else we have? I think let's go. Oh, what's, what are you? Oh, this is some like weird scissor I bought. Yeah, because I had to have every scissor known to mankind. I thought maybe I'll need this someday. What do I need this for? This is it's like a short little snub nose scissor. It's a very thick scissor, so I think it's it's strong. You could probably cut through a lot of stuff, but I've never used this thing. Why? Because I never think to use it because I can, I can use... I, this one handles 99.9% .9 of my chores, so I never... I totally forgot I had this. Oh, it's a good thing I went in here. Maybe I'll have to I'll have to watch a YouTube video. Does anybody know what this is for or why I bought it? <laughs> um, it is made by Fiskar. I'll have to figure it out. I'm, I had a need and a desire at some point. I just got to figure out what it was. There's a logic to my madness. Okay, what else? Oh, we got another one of these. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the... Um, I, I, I almost want to call these like kitty play romper room scissors because they... Um, they feel like that. They're very plasticky. They don't really feel good in the hand. They're hard to work. They fight with you constantly, but they're rewarding because they give you so many cool edges. So I can't totally get rid of them out of my life. No, they must stay in some regard. We just have to figure out exactly who should stay and who should go. All right, I'm putting all you guys over here in a big pile. Okay, there you go. Go live there. Yeah, you too. And you too? Okay, you go. All right. Oh, now we have small fussy cutting scissors of uh, different types. I believe they like Cutter Bee, I want to say. And this is Craft Gear. So EK, let me show you. Uh, uh, light, light. Come to you. Oh, no. Come to you. EK, I want to say Cutter Bee. I could be wrong. They're made in China. These are Craft Gear, some type of little tiny snippet. Uh, the points are different. Super pointy. Cutter B, getting those tiny spots. A little rounded tip, probably not as functional in certain areas, but just good to know if you're ever looking for scissors. Okay. Um, I'll, I never use these. I think I used them in the beginning, and then once I discovered these Fiskar ones that you go like that, yeah, yeah, you squeeze to get it to work. And they have a super pointy end. Oh, yeah. Super pointy end compared to the, all, both of these. It's super pointy. And uh, it really gets in there into those little teeny tiny corners, which sometimes you fight with when you're fussy cutting. That is my go-to scissors. These don't have to live here, but maybe I want to only keep scissors in one place in the household. This is an old pair of, uh, what I just got these at Walmart or something. They were probably just uh, old office desk drawer scissors I got um because I just started throwing all my scissors into one place so I could find them I was trying to be Marie Kondo organized at one point and uh oh yeah this was this is okay this is the smallest version of the fussy cutting scissor yeah 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 um I didn't like this one uh I didn't find it to be that effective I felt like the blades weren't pulled t together tight enough would not recommend this little guy no okay what is this? Nobody knows. Oh, look at that. It's a, it looks like a fabric cutter or something, or maybe a string cutter or something. Definitely grab bag. Definitely grab bag. Okay, put you off in the weirdos. Okay. <laughs> uh, kindergarten scissors for somebody, I'm sure. But never know when I have a little one over. Maybe we want to craft and give them a safe pair of scissors. Um, oh, these are very uh, good little, very tiny, very sharp pointed little fussy cutting scissors. Also don't use these because it does take some strength to open and close them, but they are good and effective like the cutter bees. So we'll save those for some strange reason. And then there's these little sewing scissors I'm sure I got in a grab bag. And no, not this one. This looks like a cuticle scissor or something. I probably got this for my dogs years ago to trim hair around their eyes or something like that. So we'll put you in the weirdo section. And these are, I, these look like sewing scissors to me of another time. Look at the little duck end. Does anybody know what that's for? I bet you do. Um, I think I'm probably going to clean these up and then either hang them from spine dangles in a sewing notions um, uh, journal 
or maybe mount them on the cover. That would look cute too. So they're not, they're safe. Um, or just, uh, you know, clean them up and, and uh, put them in a little uh, uh, journal surprise package. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to save those because I think they're nostalgic and cute. Got to clean this. Okay. I, I see a screw in there and I'm going to ignore it because I've got so many screws from uh, the other days cleaning little bits. Not even going there. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, there we go. There we have this. There, that wasn't too bad, right? And let us get a fabulous, if not ever so exciting, must have in every craft room, although you really don't need one. You can just use a wet paper towel or a washcloth with some soap and water on it or um, dish soap. Baby wipe. Okay. But this way I don't have to keep running back and forth to get the water. So that's actually why they use the baby wipe. And you can use your baby wipes, um, you know, when you're crafting and you get colors on them and things like that in your crafting. I mean, they make, they're a material that gets colored and it's kind of a neat, um, thin, uh, translucent type material. It's kind of cool. But obviously if you're going to use it to clean, maybe it's not the one you want to use to to use in your crafting because it's just dirty. You know, this is dirty with glitter and fuzzballs. We're just going to get rid of that. Yes, yeah, we can throw out things. See, see, we do our fair share of landfill filling. That's right. Have you done yours today? Hmm? 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 Uh, I bet you have. <laughs> All right, going to clean off the knob. Very important. Okay. It's so funny. This was labeled distress inks. Obviously, it's not distress inks. Um, what are you doing to my foot? Okay, so none of my labels correspond to any of my drawers. That was a long time ago, so I'm just going to take them off. The lower ones, Sunny has removed for me. The upper ones, apparently, I still need to move. Okay, so here comes the big question. How am I going to separate these? I don't know. I need something. What do I have? Do I have a realm of possibilities? Let me go forage. I'll be right back. Okay, I came back with not much. Okay, I have this which may be too big. It may work. We shall see. I don't know. That might not be the right thing for here. Takes up a lot of space and a lot of dead space in here. Not looking good. Um, let me just try it in the drawer. I'm trying it in the drawer over here. See if it slides in and out. It's a big fiasco. Oh no, it works. It works. Okay. That might be a, a contender for the holder of the miscellaneous scissors. The other two things I came up with were, uh, again, not much because I got rid of a lot of my little storage things. What was I thinking? Um, this guy may or may not be helpful. And then there, I, my old backup file folder, if I have to make dividers or something. So let's first of all, assess the situation. So my dad always used to say, you must assess the situation and then decide what to do. So I'm going to take a regular piece of copy paper and I am just going to Okay, this is a weird thing, and I'm just going to get rid of this right now because it's a weird, like, what is this? It looks like a duck or something, you know? Like, what is that? That takes up a lot of room. I can do that. Well, that's not that riveting to me, so I'm going to put you in the go pile. Okay, you work, but yeah. Okay, this is Victorian. Okay, so we're going to do the snip. Okay, that's desirable. We might have other Victorians, so I'm just going to put you here. I'm sure I do. Here is ripple okay ripple mm, okay not bad i like ripple i like that i forgot i had it again um oh here's another victorian see yeah now we're gonna have to compare okay here's victorian okay so that's like a they're very close in design this is victorian over here my thumb this is victorian here that little finger so i have to decide between those two so i'll have a, a victorian contest here's another ripple look at that apparently i needed duplicates of everything oh this i don't like the way that oh that that no you're going difficult to open and close you're not going to stay what you digging in bumple still skins scallop this is scallop all right these things have been around for years you probably have these i bet you do if you look okay that's a good that's actually like a um, I have this one, which is good for one single paper, but then I bought the, this is for paper. This is for fabric. This is also a scallop. You can cut paper with this too. Shh, you're probably not supposed to, but I do it all the time. And it's really strong and it gets through a few papers and gives you a nice cut. This is for simple scallop paper. So do I need to? Well, it would reduce the wear and tear on my fabric one. So you'll be here until we know better. Um, wave, some kind of wave. Uh, unknown brand. Oh, yeah, you go. Bye. Okay. Um, Fiskar pinking. So this pinking, the reason why I kept this one is it is a little pinker, which is nice for postage when you're making faux postage stamps and stuff like that. And here's my big pinker. 
So you can see the Z, little pinkies, big pinkies. So, you know, if you have to have a variety of pinkies, um, you can do that. So I'm gonna put you here for a maybe. All right. Oh, here, this is pretty. It's like a bigger scallop. And I don't have that, let's see. Yeah, still functions. Okay, you can stay. What are you? Wavy line, wavy line of Provo craft. Never heard of you. Seems to function. Oh yeah, yeah, you're good. Okay, we don't have any of you there yet. You're a double. Uh, what are you? What are you? You are the lovely oddball edge. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a weird decal. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you do work. Okay, so we don't have you, so you're different, so you can stay. And you, and you function. Okay, here's now wavy again. All right. You work well. We'll put you with the wavy. We have to decide. Stay or go. Stay or go. Okay, so you're a double and you're a double. Okay, I'm just going to put you there because you're you're running into everybody else. Running amok and we can't have that. No, we must have organization. Yay. What's that? Oh, good. Yeah, another wavy. Yeah, great. <laughs> okay, here we go. A little less functional, maybe? Hmm. All right, we'll have a contest. Now, if you're less functional, we'll just get rid of you. Why, why have a contest? The contest has been won. Okay, here's kind of like rough deckled edge of some unknown pro grow craft. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a nice cutter. Oop, except you got caught there. Let's see. Don't pull away so fast. Give the thing a chance. Okay, you were, you were good, and I don't have something that looks like you, although you are... Um, Where's my, uh, okay, we're going to call that ripple. Okay, all right. Whatever you want. We can do that. Okay, what's this? Notch. Notch. Okay. Now we are attempting the notch. Here we go. Ready? All right, a little caught there, but I don't have anything that's notched. That's kind of cool, actually, isn't it? Yeah, we better save you. All right, you're going to stay. Oh, look at that. Another notch, the exact same one. So which one is better? All right. Oh, you're a little stiffer. I don't like you already. Okay, bye. And what are you? More ripple. More, no, that, what is that? That's like ripple plus Victorian kind of look. Does it have a name? Hmm, 340005. Yes, very nice name. Your table is ready, 340005. Oh, you cut well. Look, that's kind of cool. See that one? That's, oh, you can see it there. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of like that. Although that's kind of like a torn edge and we could just tear the edge. So why would we do that? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll just see. I can justify anything, can't I? Like, oh, I have to keep this because, yeah. Okay, here's like Weird Edge by Craft Edgers. Rockies? Oh, it might even look like little mountaintops. Okay. Let's try this. See, that's a nice edge, right? See, didn't know what, no scissors needed. Why do we need all these silly things? You really don't. Okay, there you go. That is kind of cool. All right, we'll keep you. And you were easy to function. See, I just forget I have these. So I don't. you don't play with it if you can't remember that you have it. So that's part of what this is doing. Oh, this is scallop with pinking, baby pinking on. So, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah. All right, uh, yeah, you can stay. So you're going with scallop. Okay, here's scallop, scallop, scallop. Scallop, little scallop, big scallop. All right. Okay, what are you? Oh, will I ever do that? Well, I'll be like, oh, I, I need that. Well, I'll never think of that, but I'll only think of it if I look at it, and it is kind of cool. I do kind of like that. Oh, got to keep it. Bag nab it. All right, scallop. Another scallop. This one I think I use a lot, actually. Let's see. Right here. Yeah, you have some scallop competition there. Oh, okay, maybe that was user error. Let's try that again. A little difficult, actually. I don't, I think uh, you are easier. Let me try you again. Yeah, I think you're easier. So you win and the other guy, you had to go. Okay. So at least we whittled it down a little bit, right? We have this last one, wavy. It's small wavy. I don't know if you can see that, but let me try and put it beside large wavy. Okay, here's wavy. Wavy, wavy. Huh? Small wavy. Yeah, that would be nice to have. I like small wavy. I actually like small wavy better than big wavy. Okay, you can stay. So now, you're unique, you're unique, you're unique. You are two duplicates, so we're going to have to decide because we just cannot do this. Okay, here we go. Ready? Nice. Well-functioning. Very good. No problems. 
Ah, nice, well functioning, very good, no problems. Mm, well, we can put one in storage and then keep one out. And this one I think is a little bit smaller, so we will put this one in storage. Okay, that's how that was decided. You're gonna stay and you're all different. Two Victorians, okay. The Victorian runoff, here we go. You feel a little awkward in the hand, but you are cute. It's like a little Victorian and we use Victorian a lot. You're also awkward and a little stiff. So you're actually less stiff. So we will keep you and we put you in the shed. Yeah, also known as the garage. All right, so you have these two battling it out. Well, they're different though. This is little deckled edge. This is bigger deckled edge. So we'll keep both of you. We have ripple, notch, pinking, and then mountains. EKG sign, weird thing. Okay, so these will all stay. So I was thinking, as I was thinking, I was gonna put all these in here because they, they're, they're like a clump, you know what I mean? They're just like a clump to themselves. Um, yeah, so I think that's okay because I can rummage in there, that, that would be all right. Now, get rid of this, okay. Now we have issues. Okay, so maybe if I put this here, then the middle zone can be the third area. So this little area here, oh, I gotta, I gotta have a place for the, okay, so maybe this middle area can be totally for these rotary cutter, cut off your finger, all retracted now. Okay, I'm gonna face down so I don't cut myself. I'll retract it and face down. And you, I think I could store you in here. Look at me boldly touching this. I know that's crazy, huh? Don't do that. Will it fit? Now it won't close. Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, yeah, we got it. Oh, we're in, we're in. Now put all blades together. That would be smart, right? Oh, look at I have a little area. I have a little area I could put all blades together. That's nice. That's helpful. Little oddball. I do like him. I forget I have him. So I will put him here. I, I will put him here. This weird thing and this weird thing, this I think is to sharpen rotary blades. Yes, and I think this goes with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And somehow you put your blade in there and it sharpens it. I'll have to watch the video again, but it looked like really, it was really cool. Um, if I figure it out again and it works, I'll do a video on it, but I don't remember now, honestly. So it was one of those weird purchases, you know, you know, late night kind of thing. Okay, so the question is, I don't have a lot of room left, but, oh, I need, I probably need these things. Can somebody please tell me what these are for? Do I cushion my blade with these on either side so it holds it snugly? I mean, what, what are these for? I know, I could watch a video. All right, okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, you don't have a cap, so you're not, go you're not going back in without a cap. No, you're not. I'm just not going to do that to myself. Um, you can come back in because you have a cap. You're an exacto scalpel. You can come back in. Um, okay, so what I really use, I'm saying, I'm saying this is what's running through the, the, the you know, empty spots in my mind. Do I put my little scissors here because it fits the nice space? But honestly, I don't use these little scissors. So um, why have a nice clean space for them when I really need a space for my craft knife? Because I use these all the time. So let me put, they fit. Okay, they fit. Let me see how many I can get in here. Because I may have to put some in the dark forest if I've got too many. Let me just see. Okay, piling, piling. Probably a little too many in there, but I got them in. I got them in. That's okay, because I use these like crazy. So keeping these at the ready, my extra storage right here makes sense in my strange way. And then I've got these blades, which apparently I thought I could replace, maybe for a regular X-Acto knife or something. I don't know, but I feel like I need to keep these close, but not that close. So I'm going to put them back here. No, I'm going to put them back here because they'll fit. <laughs> and then... I've got the little scissors and what do I do with those? All right, well this little, little scissor, like baby scissors, I don't think, I don't really have kids that come over. Who am I kidding? These are all good quality scissors. Oh, here it is. Here, here comes, this is like the quintessential moment. You're not, you don't use them. You like them, but they, you just don't use them. I'm gonna put them in the storage. I can't let them go yet because, because, I don't know why. I just, I can't yet, no. Okay, this weirdo pair, yeah, you can go in the, uh, yeah, storage. Okay. This pair of, yeah, office scissors don't really use you at all right now because I have so many other scissors. This little thing, 
Maybe I need to keep that over by my um, sewing machine for those quick, quick little thread nips. Let me put that over there in my bobbin. Let me show you my bobbin storage, my official bobbin storage. But I'm going to toss it in here because didn't I find myself needing to clip? And I'm always having to grab and reach for the scissors. But here, they'll, I'll have designated sewing scissors. Probably, probably tell me they're not even sewing scissors. That's fine. And then these three are going to go in my little bin of other things. Yeah, you haven't seen that one yet. That's coming. <laughs> um, and these are going to go back in the bathroom. Yeah, because I have a new pup now. And sometimes I have to get close around the eyes. I, he's a little wiggly, but he last, last bath time, he let me trim his beard off and the sides of his cheeks, which get swafted through his food. So I want to keep his beard short and the sides of his cheeks a little shorter. And he let me clear a little around the eyes. So although I'm, I'm always nervous, this one is too pokey. Like I'd rather use, where's that duck, duck build one where I think I threw it in the bucket, but that one, you know, to, to do around his eyes because I don't want to poke him. Um, maybe let the groomers do it. This big guy, okay, is great, but I don't really need him right now. But yeah, he's so big. Let me put him out in the garage. I know he's there. And this sewing scissor. Will I use this? I mean, I really like my other ones. So why would I use this? All right, you'll go in the garage for now. I know you're there. I haven't let you go yet. You know, you're, you, we'll see. We'll just think about it. Oh, the sharpener. Hmm. That should probably have a space in here. There's no space in here for it. Hmm. You're going to go in the garage. I don't sharpen my scissors that often. I probably should. Little scissors of unknown origin. Okay, if somebody can explain to me why I need these, I will keep these here. But if not, they're going to go in the garage too till I have the courage to let everything go. And that does happen. This, I think I'm going to wrap with... Uh, um, oh, let's do this. I have some paper tape here. That won't be too hard to get off. And maybe I should get a little piece of... How about Kleenex? Yeah. I'll make it like a big, big sore thumb or something. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to poke myself here. Okay, well, I guess you could use any tape at this point. It doesn't matter. But uh, this is this is looking ridiculous, isn't it? There, but it's safe. <laughs> Let me tape the tape the tape to the body of it so it doesn't come off. Oops, a little shy there. That's okay. But at least I know what it is and it's not going to hurt anybody. So if for some reason, my other one, I could probably use a pen cap. I wonder if a pen cap works. Hmm. You know, all those years in the 70s with all those pen caps, you think I have a pen cap now? No, no, I haven't got one. I've got like a million pens over there. All right, I'll have to look around for a pen cap because I think that might be the best answer and just tape that on because this looks, let's say, you're going to the garage. Yeah, okay. Never to be seen again. Um, whoa! I, I think we did it. That was pretty awesome, right? So we have um, organized scissor drawer. All right, let's put organized scissor drawer back in place. Hello. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm done that drawer. I know. You, what you're saying, please don't let it drop on my head. I know, right? Okay, we won't let that happen. Okay, so there is organized scissor drawer. So we have all the Fiskars and all those like fancy edge scissors. The um, fabric trimmers, cutters in the middle of the rotaries, and then the blessed craft knife. Okay, so one day we will explore those further, but that won't be today. No, because this is enough for this Sally, and we need to go back to having more fun. So let's go have some more fun now that we've organized. As long as we do a little bit all the time, every week, we're going to be golden. That's right. So next year when we come around to those drawers we did at the beginning, they're going to be pristine like nothing ever happened, right? Yeah, right? Do you believe me? You what? You don't believe me? What? I don't, no standing ovation? You, like, you, it's not happening, mom? Wait a minute, you're only six months old. You didn't even know me last year when I had my messy drawers. We, we need to have a talk. I don't know, mom. I, I, I just don't think it's gonna be. I mean, look at me and my toys, they're everywhere. And you organize them and I unorganize them for you every day. It's a thing, it just happens, it's called life. Okay, very, very good. I understand. All right. I've been schooled. All right. So I hope you guys are having fun out there. Um, I do have an Amazon store with uh, links to favorite tools and supplies, an Etsy shop with vintage digital kits, as well as junk journals and um, uh, bundles and all sorts of fun stuff when I have them ready. And also um, 
uh, a monthly emailed newsletter, which is free, where you get a free digital image emailed to you monthly, and um, junk journal tip, and updates from the paper outpost, and a uh, note from the bookmaker, and a l list of journal supplies to keep your eyes open for, and a uh, Facebook group, having a lot of fun, doing weekly and monthly challenges. Uh, love to see what you guys make for my video ideas. You guys are so creative and so inspirational. Thank you for that. Thank you for all of your contributions and sharing with each other and uh, inspiring all of us. You have, you have no idea how much it means to so many people. So thank you. And um, remember that fun can be simple and sometimes fun needs to be organized. So take care, have fun, happy crafting, and remember to create with reckless abandon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.